So in this video guys, I'm going to show you how you create a green screen without using a green screen, aka removing a background without needing to have a green screen. So first thing is you need some lighting, right? As you can see, using my uh, Mount Dog ring light, as well as I have a key light to my left here. Next is you want to make sure that your camera settings are in a way where the exposure does not dramatically change so you won't have to worry about having you contrasted with the background. So right now my ISO I might need to I think it looks fine right here on my Snapbridge app if you want to get learn how to connect your phone to any sort of your Nikon DSLR mirrorless camera check out that video. So next when it comes to removing yourself you don't necessarily need a green screen I'm gonna show you right now as well as in Premiere First is you want to have a contrasting background. So right now, there is that door, so I'm gonna move the camera slightly over. And then I'm gonna zoom in a bit. And this looks all right in terms of position. I am all, there is a black back background. So one of the things of if you don't have the budget for a green screen, you want to make sure that you have a more colorful background, right? The whole purpose of why green screen works is that it, it separates you from the background and it creates some sort of contrast. So you don't want to be wearing a white shirt because that is not good. I'll show you why afterwards as well as having good lighting. So right now I'm just going to move my ring light a little closer to me. See how that looks on camera. And then I'm going to use this softbox right over here. So it points right at me as well. There is a little bit of a shadow I'm trying to get rid of. I'm just gonna point this here. And now this is going to be my green screen video. And we'll see how this does in Premiere. So the next step is I'm gonna jump into Premiere. I show you guys exactly that you don't actually need a green screen to remove the background. What is up guys? Now we are in Adobe Premiere. And as you can see, I'm gonna bring in the exact footage that I'm actually gonna use, which is right over here. I'm just gonna mute this just for your own ears. And as you can see, I am separated from the background. So I wanna pick a portion where I'm not moving too much. And then what I'm going to do is I'll be applying the color key. You can ultimately decide the ultra key or the color key. The ultra key, the difference is you can get a little bit more, more technical into like spill mats and the pedestals. But for the simplicity, I'll be using the color key. So drag that on. Scroll down here. You see this eyedropper here. And then what you do is you hold control. So you can have more of the sampling. Click that. And then you want to change the color tolerance. So you want to keep moving this until it does not try to key yourself out. And as you can see, my teeth are starting to become transparent. If I do that, that's not good. So you want to go as much as you possibly could or can before you start to disappear. And for this example, yes, I noticed my teeth is uh, missing a bit, but uh, that's okay. And you're like, okay, cool, what's next? You want to do the same thing. Drop another color key onto it. Go down here. Click the eyedropper. And then you increase the tolerance again. Increase the feather. And uh, you keep doing this until the background disappears. Of course, it's obvious there are little artifacts here, and I'm, this is just for examples. You can get a little bit more technical on this, but there is, I completely removed the background, and uh, I'm going to drag this clip onto this clip, as you can see. Shrink myself down. Go down here in the corner. And honestly, it is so small, you can't even notice it. That's one of the benefits of uh, using this trick is uh, I'm right here in the corner and I just pretty much took out the entire background and now I'm green screened, fake green screened behind the scenes and that's how you do it. And uh, there are little secrets of if, if you don't want to like have eight color keys, another way to do the same effect and probably a lot easier 
is I'm gonna reset all my parameters. I'm gonna get rid of all the color keys. And another workaround is how you uh, deal with that is I'm just going to make a little mask. So I'm gonna find out where I don't move that much. Right, a little sway, it's fine. And then before I even apply any sort of color key, I'm just going to the opacity layer. And there's two ways. You can either draw out your mask, which is more accurate. But if you want to do a little speed up process, I'm just going to do a circle mask. Drag a little here, here, and then drag down. And then you press play here. And Adobe Premiere will automatically track how you move. So then the mask will still stay within these parameters. But it's not always perfect. The mask is tracked now and it's pretty accurate to where I am. Next, the same thing applies, and you wanna apply the color key onto it. So this is a little bit more advanced tip. So the only difference is you're applying a mask before. So I'm gonna here, color key, click that, let it register, and then I'm just going to go as much of the tolerance that I can get before it starts taking away my face. Like I don't wanna, my neck is missing a bit, but you know, it's not the end of the world, right? that out apply another color key on here and that is your technically a workaround of how you don't color screen but as you can see because it is a white background you will naturally have white in like your eyes your teeth and that is one of the issues but if this is just for let's say a class project or something you just want to have a little cool animation for twitch or youtube and have like a gif this is how you do it as you can see right here the video itself is completely transparent now, right? I can move myself here, look at me over here, right? And I just made a transparent video without using a green screen at all. But I'm gonna go a little bit more complicated and show you, you know, what if you used something like Mr. Poopy over here, which has a lot of contrast, right? And I'll able to apply the same technique that I'm gonna do but the only difference is you'll see the benefit of what it's like to actually use a green screen and why people use it in movies is that it creates a lot more contrast so it's easier for the editor's job. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just mask where I want this to be. Okay, and there's my mask. And then I'm just gonna, since Mr. Booby does not move, it's essentially almost like a picture. So next what I'm gonna do is go to effects and you can actually go into ultra key now instead of color key. As you can see, graze that out, put that aggressive. I can apply another ultra key to it. And you can tweak this in terms of making sure it's even more like how the match generation here, you can like up the transparency as you can see here, tolerance. But you don't want to, you just want to constantly just keep playing around with this. But obviously, this is not perfect. But for demonstration purposes, see how easy that was to essentially get rid of in comparison to how I was using my with with a white screen and a white backdrop as me. It's a little tricky, and how easy it is if you introduce some color into this, and the more contrasting the subject is from the background, the more easier it is to actually essentially mask out. As you can see here now, I have just made this, this although it looks like a PNG, it is actually a video file. And I can like have him animate here, do this. I can have him like spin around, All right? And that's the magic of uh, using a green screen without using a green screen effect. It's not gonna be perfect, right? In ideal situation, you would always want to have a green screen because one, your eyes aren't green and it actually lets you have a lot more creativity and flair in terms of the difficulty of headaches if you actually were to use the without a green screen. But that's how I would do it. Let me know what you guys thought of this. Would you actually use this or would you actually go out and purchase a green screen? So now guys, you know exactly how to remove a background within your videos even if you do not have a green screen. Really simple, all it is is you can use your mask key as well, but ultra key is the way that you want to go. And if you want to get more technical, there are other ways such as in After Effects, you have your Rotos brush tool, 
But for the most part, that's how you do it and make sure that you stay within some core principles like making sure you have good lighting, contrasted background, the more colorful it is, making sure you're not wearing any sort of the same colors and making sure you don't move around a lot because that's going to be a pain in the butt to edit afterwards. And if you want more tips and tricks or getting free camera guides, check that out. Link in the description helps me help you. And if you get more serious about video editing, I do have a crash course within Adobe Premiere. You learn it within under 30 minutes. Link in the description below if you want to check that out. You'll also get 14 days free on Skillshare. And my name is Peter. You're watching a Broke Visionary Collective where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers, guys.